Okay, so I told you guys before that I don't do a lot of desserts. Um, I, I really don't. As you can see from my channel, there's a few desserts up there, but I'm going to show you one now that's like a family favorite um, for like a family reunion or, you know, uh, Easter's coming up, you know, stuff like that. Make it for, you know, Valentine's Day, whatever. It's extremely sweet, but I'll go ahead and get started. It's called Banana Split Cake, okay? And it's not really a cake, but it is. You'll see once I get into it. And I'll have to do it in parts. But what I got right now is just um, just some margarine going back there. And I'm going to um, melt that margarine, okay? Because we're going to make like a graham cracker crust. Now, it's not the same kind of graham cracker crust that you're used to seeing here. Let me move this out of the way. Um, it's not the same type of graham cracker crust that you're used to seeing for a cheesecake. I don't know. My cord doesn't reach all the way, so I don't know if you can see that. Um, I hope you can. I'll bring the bowl back in a minute. But I just took regular graham crackers, and I'm going to crush them up. It's going to get loud for a second. I'm going to crush them up in here, and we're going to make like a graham cracker crust. Now, we're not going to add any. With a, with a cheesecake, you add sugar to it. With this one, you're not going to add sugar to it, and you'll see why, because there's going to be enough sugar to go around. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and grind this up. It's going to get loud for a second. chop up those graham crackers to where they're like powdery, okay? Because we're making a graham cracker crust. And what I'm going to do is take it like this because it doesn't chop up very, it's a small chopper. It's not like a food processor or nothing. It's just a small little chopper. I'm sure you have one like it at home. Now look, you want to make sure there's two cups. That's not exactly two cups. So I'm going to grind up some more um, graham crackers. Because they won't all fit in their hole, so, you know, put the blade back in. Now, just kind of break up the graham crackers like this. Kind of break them up and throw them in your little chopper. And this is the whole pack of graham crackers. Minus maybe one that I ate, okay? I won't lie. Okay? <laughs> okay. Let's break up one more and try to fit it in there. And it'll, it should come up to two cups now. Okay, going to get loud for another second. Uh-oh. Alright. Well, I stuffed too many in there. Here, let's take a few out. And then we can add more to it in a minute. Okay. Alright. Now I'm going to add a few more graham crackers in there just to kind of chop them all up. That way it doesn't take forever. Okay. Should be about two cups. If not, we'll crush up some more. But I think this is the whole first top layer. The whole first. Um, this is the whole first top layer of graham crackers. When you open the box, you have a. It comes in a a um, package there, and this is the whole first top layer. That's one cup. All right, so I'm gonna have to grind up some more to make it two cups. Okay, and all we're going to add to it to make it, um, to make your graham cracker crust is butter. Because like I said, you know, it's, it's already going to have enough sugar in this dessert to go around. So it's going to be one whole package like this, okay, of graham crackers. And then I uh, have maybe another half a pack to make two cups. I'm going to turn that butter off because it's probably good and melted. But you're going to grind it up to like a powder 
for your graham cracker crust. And you gotta do it layers um, for this banana split cake in um, in a nine by 13 inch pan. I don't know how to make it like smaller, okay? So it makes a lot. So if you wanna make it for like, like I said, a family reunion, it's good. Um, it's good for all kinds of occasions. It's good to just have for after dinner. That's what we're doing it for. Okay, it's gonna get loud. Okay, now, sorry for the loud parts, but I gotta show this part because it's, you know, it is the recipe. Okay? So we're going to pour it into our measuring cup, make sure that it's two cups. Alright? There you go. You have your two cups of graham crackers. Okay? I'm going to just set all this other stuff off to the side. And this is just the crust. Okay? This is just how you're going to do your graham cracker crust. And the rest of it, um, the rest of it, like I said, it goes in layers. So I'm going to have to do it, show it to you in layers. But I got a fork, just make sure it's all smoothed out, okay? And we're going to take our butter that we melted and just kind of pour it in. It's so that the graham cracker crust can stick together. And it doesn't matter that it wasn't all melted. But that's a whole stick of butter. And that's uh, a package and a half of graham crackers. And we're just going to kind of mix it up a little bit to where it's like, like if you've ever made a cheesecake, it's kind of wet. Okay, make sure all of it's wet. And then we're going to transfer it to this uh, 9 by 13 inch pan. And it's really good. If you like banana split, you'll like this. Trust me. It's really, really good. But you got that warm butter. And we're just going to spread it out in this pan and make a crust. A graham cracker crust. Now, if you do, like I said before, when you do a cheesecake, you add sugar to the graham crackers. Okay? Um, eventually, I'll try to do a cheesecake. Try to get it up. I make no promises, though, because I don't do a lot of sweets. Mostly, I do real dinners. But I know Easter's coming up and, you know, different events are coming up. See, that's all wet in there, and we're just going to transfer it, and it's going to be a thin crust for the bottom of this 9 by 13 inch pan. And that's what you want. You just take a fork and kind of press it in. You can do it with a spoon. I'm just used to doing it this way. I was taught this way, so, by my aunt, who's wonderful. Um, this is actually, I got this from her at a family reunion when I was like 12. Um, she's, she's one of the best cooks on the planet, okay? And I don't say that lightly. She's, she is, she's one of the greatest people I've had the pleasure of knowing. Let's see. And I'm lucky because she's my aunt. Okay, here. Let's transfer that over here. But you want it to be like a thin layer. You don't want it to be very thick. You want it to be a thin graham cracker crust layer. And then I'm going to finish doing this. And I'll come back and show you the second layer and how this spreads out, okay? Okay, so we got our... Um, we got our graham cracker crust pressed in here, and what I did at the end was to get rid of those little fork marks. If you want to, you can take a spoon, the back side of a spoon, and kind of pat it like that. Okay? And this is a easy recipe, and any time that it's made at like a family reunion and everything, uh, it's gone. I mean, people just, it's gone. So, I know that it's good. But we're going to show you the next layer that's going to go in here. I need a different spoon. There. Got a different spoon here. The next layer is a little bit more complicated, okay? We're going to take regular uh, unsalted butter that I've set out here. It's room temperature, okay? Two sticks of butter that's room temperature. Your graham cracker crust is your first layer. You just press it in and leave it alone, okay? 
and start working on your second layer. But don't get rid of your chopper. Just wash up your chopper because you're going to need it again. Okay? Um, but right now you need a mixer. And you're going to need your two sticks of butter. And you're going to need two cups of powdered sugar. Okay? So that's why you don't need um, any sugar in your graham cracker crust. I told you there's a reason you don't need it. So this is the reason that you don't need it. You want to take your two cups of powdered sugar, okay? That's one cup of powdered sugar. We're going to take another cup of powdered sugar here. Now, I didn't want to spill it everywhere, but you got two cups of powdered sugar, two sticks of butter, and I know that looks like a lot of butter, but this dessert makes a lot. So, um, and when you're done with it, it's going to get, it's going to put, uh, you're going to put it in the refrigerator or in the freezer. If you are taking it to a family reunion, I suggest that you would put it in the freezer, okay, and let it get kind of hard frozen a little bit. Enough to where you can still cut it, but enough to where you, you know, it won't melt on you on the way to where you're going. And you might even want to stick it in a cooler. That's what, that's what we do. We put it in a cooler, and it stays, uh, not really frozen, but it stays good and cold. And that's good. And if you can freeze it, you can put it in the refrigerator or the freezer to kind of keep it um, stiffened up for you, I guess you might say. Okay, now I have two eggs. Two cups of powdered sugar um, and two sticks of regular unsalted butter, and I'm gonna start mixing this. Okay, and it, it said it. My recipe, I haven't made it in a while. My recipe says it takes a while to mix this, so I'm gonna go ahead and start it. If it starts taking too long, then I'll I'll pause the video and come back to you. Okay, but I promise you, you won't miss nothing. But I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna add in one egg at a time, so it's gonna get loud with the mixer. I'm gonna set the mixer on like. Um, it's just a hand mixer. I'm going to set it on two and kind of whip it. Okay, when you got your first egg in there real good, now I'm going to add in the second egg. Okay? want you want those stiff peaks to form okay so I'm gonna blend it up just a little more first part of that filling okay and you want it to kind of stiffen up just like that okay and I'm gonna blend it just a little more just to make sure that that sugar is all well blended okay you want to make sure that all that sugar is blended Here. and you can start to smell it it smells kind of like cake 
but it's just a little different. right there because it's all stiffened up for you okay and that's what you want you want it to form those stiff peaks with that mixer okay and then this is your second layer you know spread it in here just like this like I said it's in layers that you're gonna do this banana split cake and it's really really good once it comes out of the freezer and everything, or the refrigerator. Now, you can refrigerate it overnight, or you can put it in the freezer for just a few hours. Uh, either way is fine. But you'll see how we cut it. Um, I might have to do another little snippet of video to see how we cut it, to see how it comes out of the pan. I'll show you. It's not hard, though. It's very easy recipe. And you just want to get all that filling in here. Now, your next layer, when I start it, um, I'll turn the video off because I need to do a little bit more preparation. But you just want to kind of get that filling in there like that and spread it around till it's smooth. Okay? And your next layer is going to be, what else? Bananas. Okay? And it is really good. Like I said, if you don't like banana split, like, you would do this, this filling is kind of like the same as you would do a meringue or something like that. It's only a little different than, than the meringue or um, like a topping for a banana pudding. It's a little different than that, but it's basically the same. You know, you can, t you can see that it's not just egg whites, it's the whole egg. Um, a meringue is just the egg whites. Like I said, I don't do very many desserts, but the ones that I do, uh, they're tried and true, and, you know, I've been doing them for quite a while. Okay? So you want to do all that and get it all out of your bowl into your 9 by 13 inch pan. Okay? All of it. Every little bit of it. And it smells, like I said, it smells kind of like cake. I mean, it starts to smell good. It starts to make your mouth water. I'm going to flip it around like this so I can get it smoothed out here. Okay. And it doesn't matter that a little bit got on the edges. That doesn't matter all that much, you know. You kind of do want to make it pretty if you're taking it to a function. But you'll see why it doesn't matter because the next layers that you go to, um, you'll see why it's going to cover it up a bit and... It'll be absolutely fine. But yeah, you smooth it out just like that. And that is your second layer to your banana split cake. Now, I will come back and show you the rest of the layers. You need your chopper for the other layers, though. Okay? So don't forget about that. I will come back. Give me just a few seconds. Okay, so the rest of this video should go pretty fast. Um, Wait, I got... Told you to leave your chopper out. I need to take my little back. Okay, I got to bang out. Um, what I'm going to do now is I've already done, just to save some time, I've already done the bananas. And that's about three or four bananas sliced up. Okay. And all I did was peel them and slice them and sit them on top. Okay. Let me get this stuff set up while I'm doing this. Now. You need one 16-ounce tub of Cool Whip or two 8-ounce tubs of Cool Whip, okay? And what we're going to do with that, it needs to be thawed out, and we're going to put it in on top, just like that, okay? Just spread out the Cool Whip on top, and you want a good amount on it, okay? That's why two tubs of Cool Whip, okay? And this is, a, like I said before, a 9 by 13 inch pan, um... We got your bananas all sliced up in there. And we got everything, the sugar uh, mixture, sliced up, you know, done all up in there. Now we're putting Cool Whip, okay? And then 
um, on top of that, we're going to do, it might only take, yeah, it's going to take a little more. Okay. Um, on top of that, we're going to do some chopped pecans and cherries. Now, you can chop the cherries so that everybody gets some. I do. Or you can leave them whole or whatever, um, however you decide to do it. But this is a really good, um, easy thing to do. And like I said, there's no bacon. There's no, you know, you just mix some stuff up, really. And that's the kind that I like. I like um, instant desserts. It might only take one and a half cup tubs of Cool Whip. But you want a good amount of Cool Whip all over it. Okay? So let me get my other tub of Cool Whip here. That one's empty. So yeah, maybe one and a half or one 16 ounce tub of Cool Whip will be just fine for what you're doing here. And then, like I said, you're going to just sit it in the fridge. You could put it in the freezer if you want. Um, or you could sit it in the fridge. It's really, really sweet. It is extremely a sweet dessert. And when you cut it up, you cut it into little squares for people, and it is, it'll get gone quick. Take it to a family function, it gets gone at our family functions real fast. That's why I thought I would show it, because it's a favorite. You know, seems to be a lot of people's favorite. If you like more bananas, you can put more bananas in it. If you like, you know, more cherries, whatever you like in it, just feel free to kind of make it the way you guys like it. But here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to chop up those pecans. And it, it makes it really pretty when you put the chopped pecans on there. So it's going to get loud again. Sorry for that. Go ahead and apologize in advance. This is two cups of uh, pecan, or a cup and a half of pecans, uh, just whole, or half pecans, or whatever you call them. Alright, we're going to chop these up. tastes good on it though and it makes it really pretty so what we're gonna do is just gonna spread them you got your pecans that are all chopped up okay and it's like the on a banana split you have your pecans or walnuts or whatever you like to use on a banana split that's kind of what it's resembling because it's banana split cake and it just kind of makes it pretty too spread it all around you don't want too much in one spot. Just kind of spread it all around. Okay. So everybody gets some when you make it. Okay, now. Um, like I said, you can place the cherries on top or you can chop them up. I like to chop them up that way... That's a that's a almost a whole jar of maraschino cherries. Let me rinse this out first. And I took them out of the jar and kind of drained the juice off of them. Okay, because you don't want to make your the top of your dessert sticky or red. Um, and that's the truth of it. I rinse this out. Now we're just gonna chop up the cherries. Just kind of. You know, you can half them if you want to do that. That might be better for you. Um, but I like to put them in my little chopper and just kind of chop them up and place them out with a spoon. And that's going to be it, really, to your banana split cake. Okay. And just spoon them out on top like that. Just cut them up. Or you want, if you want to half them, you can half them. Or if you want to do them like this, you can do them like this. It gets more of that cherry taste in there without having to use, you know, five jars of cherries. In my opinion. But if you want to use more cherries, feel free to. Go right ahead. But this is what your dessert is going to come out looking like. Okay. You just want to spread those cherries around. So that everybody gets some. Um, 
And that's basically it. Um, I don't know what else to say about it. Like I said, it's a family favorite. It's really good. Um, it's really, really sweet though. So if you have a sweet tooth or just a craving for something like this, it's really good. You can make it, like I said, for after dinner. You want to sit it in the fridge. If you sit it in a refrigerator, it's going to take longer to sit it in the refrigerator. If you want to sit it in the freezer, it's going to be about a couple hours. Um, but it's just kind of festive and pretty. See, that's what it's going to look like. Um, for my 9 by 13 inch pan, I have a lid. Okay? That came with it. And that's what it looks like with the lid on it. Okay? So... If you want to pop the lid on it to keep other smells from getting to it in the freezer or in the refrigerator, feel free to do that. But like I said, that's what it's going to look like. I might come back and show you another little snippet of us cutting it because um, it'll cut quite nicely. Okay? But that's Banana Split Cake. If you like this video, then please click like. Um, if you want to share this video with someone, feel free to do that. Um, we have a new support button. Uh, if you want to click the support button, feel free to do that. Um, let's see, what else is there? Oh, you can follow us on Facebook. You can follow us um, right here on YouTube, of course. You can um, follow us on Twitter or Instagram or anything like that, like I said, or right here on YouTube. Uh, if you haven't yet subscribed, then please subscribe. Um, we'll take all the subscribers we can get. And thanks. Okay. So I promised you that uh, I'd show you what it looks like when it's all done. As you can tell, I just took it out of the freezer. This is the banana split cake. And I told you I'd show you what it looks like when I cut it. So I put it in the freezer to kind of hurry the time up. And it took about two hours in the freezer. Okay. But if you do it in the refrigerator, uh, you can leave it in the refrigerator overnight. And it'll do the same thing. Um, and then, of course, when you take it out of the freezer like this, um, after you cut it, you can put it back in the refrigerator if you want to, and it should keep for you several days. Okay, now I'm going to show you how I'm going to cut it and show you what it looks like when I cut this thing. Now, like I said, just a couple of hours, and a small square of this stuff will suffice because it is really, really sweet. But if you have a sweet tooth or you have, you know, somebody in your household that has a sweet tooth, it will definitely definitely cure that sweet tooth. Alright, so that's kind of trying to mush up on me. What I'm going to do is um, I need a server to get the first piece out. Okay, so I told you guys I was going to show you what it looked like um, the banana split freezer cake coming out and I've already got up under it because it's kind of hard to do and this is what it's going to look like. Look, I'm going to take a butter knife and kind of slide it like that. Now, it might not come all out whole like that. It might fall apart on you, but that's okay. Um, the first piece kind of does, but that's what it's going to look like for you. That's your banana split freezer cake. Um, after you take it out of the freezer, you, you're welcome to put it in the um, refrigerator. And it will it'll keep for you, but that's what it looks like. Um, it's very delicious. It's it's so good. If you like this video, then please don't forget to click like. Um, if you want to share this video, then please feel free to go ahead and do that. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, um, you can subscribe to my channel. If you are already subscribed, then thank you very much. Um, that's it. it. We have a new support button uh, on YouTube. If you would like to do that, then feel free to do that. If you want to like us on Facebook, give us a thumbs up on Facebook, or follow us on Facebook, or uh, follow us on Instagram, or Twitter, or Pinterest, or anywhere you want to follow us, or right here on YouTube, of course. Um, thanks.